hello and welcome back to this channel once again the purpose of this video is basically to help us prepare for the upcoming of the core mathematics paper so if you are new here make sure you subscribe to this channel because we are going to solve questions on several core mathematics topics now in this video we are going to solve two questions on the topic variation we are going to solve novdec 2013 question 6b and novdec 2013 question 15a now without wasting much time let's get into today's video by solving these two questions so for question one this happens to be novdec 2013 question 6b if r varies inversely as the square of 3k minus 2 and r is equal to 4 when k is 2 find i r when k is 1 and then i i k when r is equal to 16. Let's solve this question together. So from the question, we are given the condition r varies inversely as the square of 3k minus 2. So that is r varies inversely 1 over the square of 3k minus 2. We have r to be 4 when k is equal to 2 and then we are going to solve for i and then i i. Now even before we solve for i and then i i, we need to find the relation connecting r and then k. So the first thing we are going to do is to remove the proportionality sign and introduce an equality sign and a constant. So that is r is equal to k times 1 over the square of 3k minus 2. Now let's call this equation 1. Next we are going to substitute the values of r and then k into this equation so that we find the value of the constant k. So we have r to be 4. So we have 4 equals k times 1 divided by 3 times k, we have k to be 2. So 3 times 2 minus 2, that is the square of this whole thing. Now let's simplify. So we have 4 equals k divided by 3 times 2 is 6, minus 2 is 4. So we have 4 square. Therefore, we have k to be equal to 4 times 4 square. 4 square is 16 times 4 is 64. So we have the value of k to be 64. So from equation 1, we have r to be equal to 64 divided by 3k minus 2, all square. So this is the relation connecting r and k. Now let's solve for i. We are going to find the value of r when k is equal to 1. So when we have k equals 1, from this equation, r equals 64 divided by 3 times 1 minus 2 all square. So we have 64 divided by 3 times 1 is 3 minus 2 is 1. And then 1 square is 1. Therefore, when k is equal to 1, we have r to be 64. Now let's solve for i i. Here we are going to find the value of k when r is equal to 16. So when r equals 16, using this same equation, r equals 64 divided by 3k minus 2 all square. So we have r to be 16. So 16 equals 64 divided by 3k minus 2 all square. So we had 16 equals 64 divided by 3k minus 2 all square. So at this point, we can interchange the values of 16 
and then 3k minus 2 all square so this becomes 3k minus 2 all square equals 64 divided by 16 now 64 divided by 16 is equal to 4 therefore we have 3k minus 2 all square equals 4 now we can expand this expression to have 3k minus 2 times 3k minus 2 equals 4 now let's multiply across so 3k by 3k is 9k square 3k times negative 2 is negative 6k negative 2 times 3k is negative 6k and then we have negative 2 times negative 2 which is positive 4 and that is equal to 4 so let's simplify we have 9k square minus 12k and then we transpose 4 to the left hand side so we have plus 4 minus 4 equals 0 this becomes 9k square minus 12k equals 0 4 minus 4 is 0 the common term is 3k so we factor out 3k and then we have inside the bracket 3k minus 4 and that is equal to 0 so we have 3k equals 0 and then 3k minus 4 equals 0 we divide through by 3 and then we have k to be equal to 0 and then here also we transpose negative 4 to the right hand side we have 3k equals 4 we divide through by 3 and then we have k equals 4 over 3 therefore when r equals 16 we have k to be equal to 0 or k to be equal to 4 over 3 now let's solve the second question now to the second question that is Novdek 2013 question 15a x varies jointly as the square of m and the cube of n when x is equal to 9 m is equal to 3 over 4 and n is equal to 1 over 2 i determine the relationship between x m and n i i calculate correct to three significant figures the value of alpha x when m is 2 over 3 and n is 1 over 5 beta m when x is equal to 5 and n is equal to 1 over 8 so let's solve this question together Also from this question, we are given the condition that x varies jointly as the square of m and the cube of n. So jointly means together. So x varies jointly as the square of m, so as m square and the cube of n. So that is times n cube. So we are going to remove the proportionality sign. And then we introduce an equality sign and a constant k. So we have x equals k times m square times n cube. Let's call this equation 1. Now we are to determine the relationship between x, m and then n. So to do that, we are going to substitute the values of x, m and then n into equation 1. So that we can find the value of k. So we have x to be 9. So 9 equals k times. We have m to be 3 over 4. So 3 over 4 square. And then we have n to be 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 cube. Let's try to simplify. So 9 equals k times. Now 3 square is 9. So we have 9 over 4 square is 16. 1 cube is 1. And then 2 cube is 8. So this becomes 9 equals. Now let's multiply across. 9 times 1 is 9. 
16 times 18 is 128. At this point, we can cross multiply. So this expression is the same as 9 over 1 equals 9k over 128. So when we cross multiply, we have 9 times 128 equals 9k. Obviously, 9k times 1 is 9k, and then we divide through by 9. 9 cancels out 9, and then we have k to be equal to 1 to 8. So this is the value of k. Now back to equation 1, we have x equals, this time we are going to input the value of k. So x equals 1 to 8 times m square times n cube. So this is the relationship between x, m, and then n. Now let's solve for i, i. For alpha, we are going to find the value of x when m is equal to 2 over 3 and then n is equal to 1 over 5. So when m equals 2 over 3 and then n equals 1 over 5, we are going to find the value of x. So from this expression, we have x equals 1 to 8 times m square so m is 2 over 3 so 2 over 3 square times n 1 over 5 cube we have 1 to 8 times 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 1 cube is 1 5 cube is 125 now let's multiply across. So we have 1 to 8 times 4 times 1 is 4. 9 times 1 to 5 is 1 1 to 5. Now if you multiply 1 to 8 by 4 over 1 1 to 5, we have 0 0.4551. And because we are asked to leave our answer correct to three significant figures, we have 0 0.455. So this is the value of x if m is 2 over 3 and then n is 1 over 5. Now let's solve for beta. So for beta, we are going to find the value of m if x is equal to 5 and then n is equal to 1 over 8. Now from the expression x equals 1 to 8 times m square times n cube we are going to find the value of m when x is equal to 5 and then n is equal to 1 over 8. Now let's substitute the values of x and then n in here. So we have x to be 5, so that is 5 equals 1 to 8 times m square, and then we have n to be 1 over 8 cube. So 5 equals 1 to 8 m square times 1 cube is 1, 8 cube is 512. Now 1 to 8 goes into itself once into 512 four times. So the expression reduces to 5 equals m square over 4. At this point, we can cross multiply. So we have 5 times 4, which is 20. And then we have m square equals 20. Because we want to find the value of m, we square both sides of the equation. And then we have m equals 4.5. 4721. And because we are asked to leave our answer to three significant figures, that is equal to 4.47.